Hello and how are you this morning? So today I want us to learn something on technology. I want us to learn how to equalize or set up a powered mixer. This is an 8 channel powered mixer. So I want us to learn what all these things are and what they are used for. All right. So let's get right into it. So once you have your signal, it comes in through the input section. This is the input section and then we have an output section here and at the back over here. So you put your microphone over here, your piano, your guitar, anything, your music, either you put it on this XLR port over here or you use the quarter inch jack here. And then after the signal comes in, it flows down all the way up to the fader. So over here we have the gain. This is the gain. So this one mostly you either it's either halfway or less than half. So that you have your signal come inside. And then here you have your preamps. So here you he, this is where you equalize your signal. So you either have your highs, you add them or reduce them. If it's a microphone, you can add some little bit of highs to get some crispiness. And then your mids to add the 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 size of your signal it so that it's a fat signal it's you don't want anything sounding so thin and so small and then you have your lows you can cut them so that you get off the mud in a signal a, maybe let's say in this case it's a microphone and then here you have your monitor your monitor you have an monitor output over here you can put it on the sense or at the back so this one is if you want to monitor your <coughs> you want to monitor your sound you're on stage you have monitors you add this one to your level and then here you have the effects so over here we have some few effects this is the effect and then you add their volume over here and over here if you want the effects to be on the left or the right and then over here you have the pan button so now here this is where you can work out some magic you can pan some vocalists to the left others to the right if you're mixing your drums you can pan your toms depending on the way you place them on stage and then over here you have your pfl button this one is used when you're using this phone jack so if you want to listen to only one signal you only press it inside and then you add your volume on the headphone so that you can hear only this line and then here you have your fader so it's normally advised for it not to be all the way up but you have it around minus 6 db or somewhere below the 0 db level so that is your signal flow all the way from up down and then over here on this other side so the, the same case what you have done on this one is the same thing you do on this one on this one on this one so if you for example you had uh, another signal on channel number four let's say it was a keyboard signal so it comes in via the quarter inch jack and then you add your gain to somewhere probably over there so that you don't have a hot signal so that is not clipping this is where you check whether it's clipping and then you can cut some dbs for example this is minus 20 and then over here you have your mids your high your highs your mids your lows some other mixers have two mids and then the high mid and the low mid and then you add your monitors and then you probably don't need effects on that one and then you can pan it a little bit to the right and then over here you have your fader so you can put it up to there and then over here we have a graphic equalizer so on this one you can put it um, you can all of them can be at the middle level if you don't need some equalization and then others may put it like this like a curve and then others might put it like this you might need to add over there around 150 hertz and then all the way up to 15k you add some crispiness you remove some mud this is according to what you hear over here equalization and mixing you use your ear so if it feels nice if it sounds good then you're good to go and then over here we have the main output so we have the right and the left so this is a, a stereo signal so if you want them to be loud enough it can be around minus 6 db 
and then if you have only one line you can switch off the other one and then this is your effects you can add them to your preference and then over here you have your where you check what is happening so this equalizer it normally goes up and down so if your signal is hot you will see it up to the red the red um the red light over here but you need it to be around the yellow or the green somewhere thereabouts amazing that's an amazing tutorial on how to use this powered mixer for more stay tuned to this channel and subscribe bye bye